First impressions on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I'm digging it, man. I totally love the design. I'm loving that camera hump, but I'm definitely going to be sporting a case to protect that area, that mountain of cameras. Wow. Love the color. Yeah, digging the design. I really am. For those of you that don't, hey, I respect that, but man... It's just, it's gorgeous to behold. Sharing the reviewing process with all of you, because this is, this is part of the reviewing process. This is the beginning, the first impressions, the unboxing, which was short and sweet. And, and now my first impressions. And uh, as far as the design, yeah, man, I give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to get in the specs. We know the specs. I'm sure you've seen a gazillion videos on this device. By holding this device in hand, it just feels great. It looks great. Corners are rounded in comparison to the Note 10. You can see the corners there on the Note 10 are a lot sharper than on the S20 Ultra. Look at the camera layout, the difference between both these devices. Now next to each other, the S20 Ultra, a little bit taller. You can see that. And as far as thickness, a little bit thicker. Just a little bit thicker on the S20 Ultra. A little bit thinner on the S20 Ultra. Okay. Yeah, a little bit thinner. I don't mind that at all. Totally, totally digging this device right now. After the quick unboxing, I did set up the fingerprint reader. So I wanted to test that area out. Very nice and responsive. The other area is the 120 hertz refresh rate. And we're going to go into settings. Out of the box, it was set to light, which is very, very bright. And I want it on dark, better for my eyeballs. And right now we are at 1080. You can go to 1440p, but you have to keep it at 60 hertz, okay? Now, there's supposed to be an update where it doesn't matter where you have it set. That 120 hertz will work for 1080p and for that uh, 1440p. But we're, we're, we're going to wait and see if that update really comes out and changes that. But for right now, we're at 60 hertz, and we're going to go over to Google. Uh, this is my Google feed, and... We're just going to go up and down and up and down. And 120 hertz. I don't know, man. It feels a bit smoother, but it's not like a big difference. It's, it's just smooth. Whether it's at 60 hertz or 120 hertz, it's very, very smooth. Um... I guess if you want to save battery life, you can keep it at 60 hertz and you can utilize the 1440p. But that's up to you. So, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. You let me know if you can really tell the difference. But either way, you have that option. So there you go. Enjoy the mini pixel light show. More to come. God bless. Peace. I am out.